Hey, fun fans, before we get to this Behind the Bumpers video, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsors, PTC and Striker. PTC currently has the Robots to the Rescue Challenge going on where you can earn a share of $7,000 for your team by designing a robot that helps solve a current world problem at onshape.com forward slash robots to the rescue. And Striker is looking for first and fun fans to join their team because they want to help support you in your first journey. Help develop solutions for current and future problems like the new emergency relief bed. Get details on how to join their team at careers.strykr.com forward slash first. Hi, this is Nathan, and I'm here at the Midwest Regional. We're here with 111 Wild Sting as they celebrate their 25th anniversary in first. I'm here with Dominic, Maeve, and Mackenzie, and they're going to tell us about their great robot today. So, Dominic, can you start us off telling us about your turret? Yes, so our turret is located on the um, back of our robot, and it uses mainly three features. It uses a rotating mechanism that can move around as such, and it also uses a hood system that aims using a limelight on the front. So once we have um, on the field, when we're looking at the target, it uses the reflective properties of the target to determine how much angle we need to turn both the turret and the hood mechanism. And then once we're able, once we're aimed on, then we can pull balls in from the bottom and shoot them. Oh, thank you. And uh, Maeve, can you tell us about your uh, climbing mechanism? Okay. Um, so our climb is basically, it's like a four bar linkage with a winch. Uh, it's super, super fast because we use two Neos to power it. So basically what happens is the lift straightens up. Um, at the top we've got two hooks um, and once those go over the bar they're not getting right back out. Um, so then we pull down with using our winch. So can we hear a little bit about the pneumatic systems on the robot? So what's actually kind of rare about our robot is that we don't have any pneumatics on our, our robot which is kind of rare compared to the other robots, so it's completely just mechanical programs using motors and the rollers in it, so we don't use any pneumatics this year, which is really different compared to other teams. And lastly, Mackenzie, can you tell us about your collector and feeding system? Um, so we have an intake in the front of our robot. It has deployed the entire match because, as Maeve said, we don't use pneumatics. We use gas shocks, so those basically push out the intake and leaves it uh, forward during the match. Um, what's really cool about the intake is that we have these little hurricane type um, brackets that hook onto our hopper so when we spin the intake it releases. Um, the balls once they go through the intake go through our hopper which is a belted floor with belted sides, um, polycord belts um, and right into our feeder for the turret. So thank you very much guys and best of luck this Saturday. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.